presider for today is Father Elmer Tumamak. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, our Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast of the Holy Innocents, martyrs of our faith. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I, I have, have done and in what, what I have, I have failed, failed to do. do. Through my fault, through my fault, through, through, through my most, most grievous fault, fault Therefore, Therefore, I, I ask, ask Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and in you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace on the people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless, we bless you, we adore, we adore you, we, we glorify you. you. We, we give you thanks for the great, great glory. glory. Lord God, Heavenly, Heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb, Lamb of God, God Son, Son of the, of the Father, Father you take away the, the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. us. You, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, world receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone, are for the, the Holy one, one, you, you alone, alone are the Lord. Lord. You, you alone are the Most, are most High, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaim on this day, not by speaking but by tying, grant we pray that the faith in you which we confess with our lips may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaimed to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not let act in truth. 
But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his son Jesus cleans us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation of our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us, when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us the torrent would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare, and we were free. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. We praise you, O Lord, we acclaim you as Lord, the white robe army of martyrs praise you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory to you O Lord when the Magi had departed behold the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said rise take the child and his mother flee to Egypt and stay there until I tell you Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under. In accordance with the time, he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation. Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kapatid, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Sa Oktaba po ng Pasko, ngayon po ay kaapat na araw ng Octave of Christmas. And every December 28, tayo po ay nagunita ng kapistahan ng mga uh, Holy Innocents or Los Innocentes. Dahil po, hindi naman talaga sabihin si Herod was deceived because the Magi, yung mga pantas, sinabihan po ng Anghel ng Panginoon na huwag mas nang babalik kay Herod. Dahil si Herod, nagkukulwari lang yun na sinabihan niya yung mga pantas. Sige, hanapin ninyo. Pag masumpungan ninyo, balik kayo para ako rin magsasamba. Actually po, si Herod, may kwento daw po. Pag mayroon siyang narinig na yung isang baboy gusto maging hari, pinapatay. Pati kamag-anak, pati asawa. Dahil po, si Herod ay talagang sakim sa kapangyarihan. Ayaw niyang mapapalitan. Gusto niyang forever siya magiging hari. Pero yung pagiging hari ni Herod, may hangganan. So natatakot siya dahil sabi ng mga pantas na isilang yung bagong hari ng Israel. At itong mga pantas, although they were not Jews, galing sila sa east, ay alam nila po yung sinyalis. So kung si Herod, sabi daw po, at that time, the population of Bethlehem, mga around less than 1,000 residents. At sabi daw po, yung pinapatay ni Herod, there were 20 children ages 2 years old pababa. So kahit 20, marami na yun. Massacre na yun. So, meron kong napasang isang kwinto tungkol sa isang kilalang artist. The story goes like this, that A.D., the mother of the world-famous tenor Andrea Buscelli was advised by doctors to have an abortion as there was a risk that the child she was carrying in her womb would be born disabled. But she did not listen to the doctors and continued a difficult pregnancy which was further complicated by problems with her health. Thanks to the courageous decision of this Italian mother on September 22, 1958, Andrea was born. Some years ago, Busili said in an interview, I revealed these details about my birth to give a spark of hope and make a small contribution to the psychological support of all those women who for various reasons do not have the strength in themselves to defend life which they carry in their womb. So anak kaya, ano kaya? Kung yung mother, nanay ni Andrea Busili ay sumunod sa payo ng doktor na magkaroon ng abortion, baka itong kilalang tenor na ar- musician o artist, hindi na nangyari sa kanyang buhay. So kung sa time ni Herod, siya yung abortionist or whatsoever, ngayon, ang dami rin pong mga pro-abortion. So let's pray, no? Na tingnan yung value of life. Dahil, hindi naman talaga sabihin, dahil dami ang tao na kukulang yung pagkain because of greed, kasakiman. Dahil minsan yung mga mayamang bansa, kung mag-surplus ng supply ng what? Wheat or flour or any commodity, tinatapon sa dagat, sa ocean. Dahil daw po, kung ibigay sa ibang bansa, masisira yung economy. That's why ngayon, magkano ng sibuyas na pula per kilo, 400? Mahal naman. No? At in a rate, sana the value of life, the value of persons. Sabi daw po, mayroon nagsasabi na, we use things not person. We love persons, not things. So, minsan nabaliktad. 
we love things. But we use person. Sana yung dignidad ng tao ay umiiral. At sana sa ating pagpasok sa bagong taon, huwag lang tayong paputok na putok. Sabihin, kasi among pag may fireworks, masaya. Ganun pa rin. Mapaiwas ba yung mga demonyo? Sorry. <laughs> Kung, huwag lang magalit ha. Kung sa kongreso or mga politician ay mga demonyo, sorry, hindi naman lahat. Kahit pa anong paputok, hindi yan iiwas. So it's not fireworks that will make the new year prosperous, but it is good works, Christian works, human works, reasonable works, hindi fireworks. Kung hindi sa ating pagkilos, huwag na tayong magpatulog-tulog sa pansitan. Ngayon, araw ng inosentes, doon sa Bisaya, naaala ko, maraming manluloko. Sabi daw po, walang manluloko pag walang nagpapaloko. Walang magnanakaw kung walang nagpapanakaw. Walang mangingilad kung walang nagpapailad. Anyway, so let's pray. No? Natulad itong mga kabatang ito, They were martyrs. Tayo rin ina niya na maging mar mga martyr. Hindi dahil sa dugo, pag-ayal ng ating buhay, but higit sa lahat sa ating pagiging saksi ng ating pananampalataya. Magsitayo for the prayer of the faithful. The holy innocents became victims of King Herod when he sought to kill the infant Christ, the newborn King of the Jews. Thus, they bore witness to Jesus the innocent Lamb of God who takes away the sin, our sins. Let us pray with confidence. For every petition, our response is, Lord, come to our help. Please repeat. Lord, come to our help. The holy innocent were the first fruit of the human race for the Lamb of God. May we follow the Lamb of God and sing His praises. We pray. Come to our help. The holy innocents confess Jesus as the Messiah, not by speaking, but by dying. May we leave our faith and be ready to die for it when asked for the great witness of martyrdom. We pray. Lord, come to our help. Many innocents are deprived of life through abortion, neglect, and violence. May we defend the dignity of life for conception until death, we pray. Lord, come to our help. Certain sector of society sacrifice the innocents in search of power. And for the political and economic gains, may the fear of the Lord's justice have a chance of earth and mend their way, we pray. Lord, come to our help. Children die of birth or at early age because of sickness, neglect, and conflict. Welcome them in the company of angels and saints and comfort those who mourn their early passing from their word. We pray. Lord, come to our help. Let us pray for the urgent concern of our community in our own personal intention. Holy God, the joy of your son's birth was broken by the cries of the innocent children as you welcomed the first fruits among the redeemed, crowned with heavenly grace others whose lives are cut off by their early passing. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist.
Please stand. Pray, brethren, that these sacrifice we offer, the Holy Eucharist, may be acceptable to God, <clears throat> the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants and purify us as we faithfully serve these, your mysteries, by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the feast of this O-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation, and call string humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Indeed, Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which I poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Florentino the Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all of thine your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, surround peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and to grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace. Lamb of God, who takes Take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the, the world, world have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, who take the way the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take the way the sins of the world, grant, grant us, us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the scold to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of these your saints, who though still unable to profess your Son in speech, were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is over. Let us praise and glorify God by our life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Magandang gabi po. Excelsis Deo 